Hey, this is Chris from Rock Speed Effects. Uh, we're going to show you something we did very specific to the Africa Twin, a uh, new accessory part. Uh, it features uh, actually the front fender. I know a lot of guys out there um, are having some issues with the spacing of the fender between the fender and the tire. So we've come out with a new uh, fender riser for the Africa Twin. I'm going to kind of take you through the process of uh, how to assemble it and uh, then kind of show you the, the difference between before and after. So one of the things that um, I learned while we were out on some of the uh, international motorcycle shows was some guys came to the booth and talked about how uh, disappointed they were. Uh, loved the bike, but they were disappointed when they were out uh, doing a backcountry ride and it had rained and in the area they were riding in, the mud was sticking to the tire and so I know I've seen a couple of things going around some of the forums out there on, on this subject. And uh, interestingly enough on the Africa Tune, when you kind of look at the front fender, the way it's laid out, you know, there's like an inch and a half of space or a little under, inch and three eighths we'll call it, in the front of the fender. But interestingly enough, when you go to the back of the fender, there's not even almost a half an inch of space at the back. So what's happening is, is as the tire is loading up with mud, it's pulling it up inside of here and it's collecting because there's no space under there, which is kind of, you know, unfortunate for an adventure bike to have a fender that's so tight uh, on the back. So uh, we went back to the shop and started looking it over and we figured, you know, we make risers for, for handlebars, why not make a riser for a fender? So what I'm going to take you through the process is kind of show you uh, the ins and outs of assembling that kit that's going to be available through us and um, we're going to pull out our handy dandy parts truck we're going to show you all the tools that you need a uh, 10 millimeter wrench you need a six millimeter and a five millimeter allen wrench and then part of the kit's going to be a little gas line clamp as well so all right the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to take the allen bolts out of the uh, retainer or the plastic cover that kind of retains the, the hoses. And then we're also gonna take off the, the clip that's also holding the hydraulic lines in place. And we're gonna do that by using a six millimeter wrench, Allen wrench, and uh, taking those out. So I'm just gonna go around back, and do the back one as well. Okay, save those, you're gonna need them for later. So we're just gonna put them in our little handy dandy parts truck. And these will come off by snapping them loose. They'll, they'll kind of, there's a couple of clips on there, uh, that retainers that bite in underneath. Um, so you'll kind of have to snap them off if they don't go, be, be gentle with them. Uh, okay, again, there's the opposite side. Next thing we're going to do is take our 10 millimeter and we're going to take off the retainer. So we're going to open this up a bit. I'm going to pull out the brake line. Snap this out of here. The other one. And I'm just going to set this aside. Uh, we're not going to use, we are going to use the, the bolt again, but we're going to use a different uh, mounting technique. Now, so now the back of the fender is free. I'm going to go back and now and take off the rest of the bolts. Great. Okay. So we're just going to pull this out of here. Now you'll notice that there's, that there's another rubber retainer right here. You'll need to kind of pull that loose. the fender comes free. Okay, so we are gonna reuse the, the hardware. I would recommend too, uh, when you're reassembling everything that you use blue Loctite to keep everything in place. Don't use red, red's permanent. Blue is what you wanna do. Okay, so part of our fender riser assembly requires these uh, four custom parts that we've got. Uh, these are made out of 6061 billet aluminum. 
Uh, these are machine finished, but the ones that you will get in your packages will be anodized black to match kind of everything else going on up here. There is a left and a right as well of each part. I would like you to notice that uh, one side of the, the uh, fender riser has a countersink. The other one has a square bottom countersink. The square bottom is meant to go uh, as kind of locators um, on the existing mounting setup. Also, you're gonna want the taper uh, forward because the fender um, has a uh, molded in form that we want to have clearance for. Also, uh, on the smaller bracket, there's also a countersink, a tapered countersink and a, and a square bottom. This is designed again to fit right on the rear mounting location and it goes vertical on that one inch. Another part of this process is, is we're going to be removing these rubber uh, retainer mounts. Uh, they are split in the bottom, so if you go around the back, you can work them, work them out. And I've already done this on these and break them loose. You can kind of see how they're split on the bottom. Like so, and pull those off. And we are not going to be using those for later. Uh, here's another area that you need to be really careful of because you do not want to kink this line. So what we do, because we need to, we would like to have you move this retainer to a new spot um, and what I do is you can use simple green or you can use like a penetrant and you squirt a little that penetrant on there like so and then just let it sit for a little bit because uh, it'll work its way in there because uh, it's kind of glue underneath there or it's uh, when they put it on there it's has some sort of sticky stuff on there but when you're pulling on this stuff, uh, don't hold below it and push toward your hand. Hold below and push away from your hand because that way you'll keep yourself from, from kinking that line. Just once, it gets, once that stuff gets underneath there, you can move that. You can see it's moving right, right now. So be careful of that. Don't kink the line. Always pull away from your hand. And I'm going to move it until I line kind of line up with the 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 bare spot in the line going back up to the triple clamps. All right, so we're going to put this all back together now using the fender risers. Um, we're going to use the provided uh, tapered Allen screws. So we'll put again. We're going to put this on countersink back so it kind of self locates on there. Going to Probably put some lock to blue Loctite on your screws. And these are gonna take a five millimeter Allen wrench once we get there. And this one also a little tip is if you look at this one, the little, the little bump, uh, taper countersink out, little bump towards the back. That is your left side. Again, Allen, five millimeter Allen wrench. Okay, then put I don't know, 15, 20 pounds of torque on there. Okay, then we're gonna repeat the process on the other side. All right, so now that we've got both sides assembled, um, we're gonna put the fender back in place, sliding the fender kind of right underneath. And then we're gonna take the, the, go back to our parts truck and get out the original bolts that we came from Honda. And you're gonna mount, mount your fender back in place in the new location. Go around the other side here real quick.
All right, now we've got the fender mounted in place, uh, fastened with the four bolts, kind of the main bolts that hold it in place. Now we're going to put the, uh, the wire retainers on uh, and the little plastic covers that go on both sides. And uh, that looks like this right here. Um, if for some reason, when you're working on this, this little bushing slash collar falls out and you're not sure how it goes back in, um, it actually goes in so that the shoulder is out on this inner portion. So I'll slide it in like that, right there. Now that we've got our fender in place um, with our kind of our main bolts, we're gonna move to the back of the fender and we need to get um, the hoses kind of in their proper locations. Um, you'll notice that this rubber grommet uh, that we moved up one inch earlier does fit into a retainer location. Uh, make sure that gets clipped back in there again, like so. You gotta make sure you got slack in the bottom. It should not be tight. If it's tight, uh, you're gonna pinch it off right in here and we don't want that to happen. So move that up a little farther. Now we're going to uh, put the cover over the top, remembering that there are locations here where the hoses have to go through. And you don't want to pinch those hoses off, so pay attention to that. Last thing you want to do is pinch this little guy off. But now we're going to slide the retainer over. Uh, there are one, two, three, actually four, five, six uh, little snap-ins. The way I found that it works best is uh, making sure that all the lines are going through the pre-cut locations. What I found is that uh, this little guy in the corner here needs to go in first. So we'll kind of sneak that in there. Um, kind of put that up over the top, making sure that we're getting things lined up here. Like so. Like that, so now we're on. So we're gonna put that bolt back in. So, I'm gonna put a little bit snug on it. Um, all my hoses are going through their locations. Now we're gonna kind of move on to the uh, the location of these hoses. We're gonna actually use a one of the original grommets that we took off earlier, and we're going to use a quarter-inch gas line retainer and the original bolt. So what I am doing is I'm sliding the retainer over from the top. And getting it into location, closing that down. Get the bolt in there. We're not gonna snug that up all the way. Um, I'm gonna put this grommet on there as well on the back side of the gas line retainer. I'm gonna put it so that the flat side is out. I'm gonna squeeze it up tight on there. Now I'm going to finish tightening the bolt. Okay, I'm just gonna snug it up. I'm not gonna monkey wrench it, or should say gorilla. Go gorilla on it. Now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the zip ties to snug all this up together. I'm gonna pull that line up a little bit in the retainer there. Take some slack out of it. I'm going to grab a zip tie, slide that underneath, and making sure that I'm gonna zip tie over the top of this grommet as well, because I don't wanna pinch the line. And we're gonna kinda of pull this all up tight on top, because uh, I don't want the this rubber hose uh, interacting with this little tang right here. Again, don't go gorilla on it. Just uh, nice and snug, like so. And take and cut this off, like that. Still got lots of play up here. Okay, so we've got it all in place. Uh, making sure we went back, double checked. We've got all of our fasteners tightened. And we've got our uh, hoses all in place going through the stock locations, so to speak. Um, the Rocks Riser Kit 
is all tightened up. Um, making sure that our hoses are not pinched. Uh, and looks pretty good. We've gained probably over an inch because we've tipped the fender forward. So I believe if I took a tape measure, this is about an inch and a quarter to inch and five sixteenths of space now, uh, considering before it was like a uh, half inch, I think is what we said. And uh, yeah, looks pretty good. So if you're interested in the kit, give us a call at 218-326-1794 or you can go to our website, www.rocksbeefx.com. God bless and good riding.